the uncertainty is finally over. Uganda's women's basketball team will now take part in the Afro Basketball Championships. Financial constraints had put in doubt the team's participation at the continental meet. But at the last minute, funds were provided by the government. All the girls and the coaching staff are very grateful that we're traveling because you know how you have training sessions and you're not sure if you're going or not, rumors here, rumors that you've been dropped. It, of course it's demoralizing, but once we work, actually they confirmed to us yesterday that we were going. But I just want to thank the girls that they kept hope alive. We kept training as a team without money, but we kept training as a team because we know where we're going is tough. Uganda topped the zone five qualifiers ahead of Egypt to reach the championship. But even after missing out on the All-Africa Games due to insufficient funds, the gazelles were yet again staring at another missed opportunity. But at the end of the day, we are working on last-minute program. And you know, to actually compete and win a championship, preparation matters a lot. So we're just grateful we're going to play. Uh, thank God we've been training. We have the right mind. And Tim Makunsa comes through and we just have to pay back. Afro <laughs> This year's showdown will mark Uganda's return to Africa's top women's basketball tournament after almost a decade. The team's departure leaves them with just a few hours between their arrival in Cameroon and their opening game. Preparations ahead of the women's championship are thought to have been insufficient. Many expect that will impact on the team's performance. The Gazelles are placed in what has been considered the least competitive group. They will play former African champions Mali, hosts Cameroon, Mozambique, South Africa and Gabon. We just have to go and prove ourselves and I think based on that they can surprise us. However, if I look at the preparations that we've had, you'd have little hope. If you look at the preparation because the team has had to borrow money to even go for this tournament. So you wonder whether even when they were preparing for this, for this uh, championship, whether the mindset was right or they even had doubts that would not be going. You know, if, you ha if, you, if you're torn in between, there's a very high possibility that you're not going to focus and then at the end of the day, the results may not come your way. Uganda's local basketball federation risked a three-year ban for failure to send a women's team. But with the journey to Cameroon already made, the Gazelles can now only hope to be a stronger team after their struggles. Leon Senyange, CCTV, Kampala.